Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to germinate coffee beans. The problem with coffee beans is you can't just go to the store, buy some coffee beans, and plant them. Coffee beans from the store are almost always roasted. Now, you can get green coffee beans on occasion, but the chances of them still being viable are low. That's because coffee has a limited viability. The seeds just give up. They quit being able to germinate after a short period of time. I've bought them through the mail from websites that sell coffee beans for planting and still had them fail. The best luck with planting coffee beans and getting them to actually grow is to get them right out of a coffee fruit. Now I know a lot of you don't have coffee trees, so this adds an extra layer of difficulty. When I lived in Florida, I was unable to find coffee anywhere. I tried, like I said, I bought seeds through the mail and I didn't have any luck getting it to germinate until I was at a plant show. And at the plant show, I went to a rare tropical fruit booth where they had all kinds of fruits and herbs and spices from the tropics that they were growing. And one of the things they had there was a coffee. So what I did was I bought that little coffee tree and the next year it bloomed and it fruited and I saved the fruit and I planted the seeds from the fresh fruit. It's not that hard to grow coffee in a container. You can actually grow it indoors. I've seen it growing all the way up to New Jersey. If you look at my uh, little booklet, The Survival Gardener's Guide to Growing Your Own Caffeine, I write about how you can grow coffee outside of its natural range. It's not particularly productive, but it's enough that you can get some coffee beans and you can plant those coffee beans. Now with these seeds, you don't wanna let them dry out. You don't wanna sit them on the counter. You don't wanna you know, let them sit in a drawer for a year. Don't, stop. Just take them fresh as you can and don't let them dry all the way out. Put them into some nice, loose, moist seed starting mix, whatever you have, potting soil, you know, that kind of thing, and keep them watered. If you live in a colder area, you're gonna to want to put a heat mat underneath them to get them to germinate. When I was in North Florida, I started germinating coffee in the winter because they would come in and I would start getting harvest of uh, beans in October, November, December, and so I would pick them and then I would plant them, but they did not want to grow when the temperatures were cool. So I'd keep them in the greenhouse and I put a little heat mat underneath them. I'll link to the type of heat mat that I used in the description below this video. But I would put, them on, put a little heat mat underneath and put the seedling tray on top and then they would germinate. Now, when you have them, don't think that they're just gonna sprout in a week or two like regular vegetable garden seeds. They don't, they'll take months. This batch that I'm growing right now were planted back in Christmas. Right around, right, it was actually Christmas Day we planted these. Christmas Day. And they didn't start coming up until the beginning of April. So it, it takes some time. They've gotta stay in that moist soil. You gotta keep them watered. You don't wanna drown them, but keep them watered. And if you are in a cool area, make sure you get bottom heat on them. And just wait, just wait, just be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient. If they're fresh seeds, they're going to come up. Once they get to this size, then you just take them, transplant them out into pots, and grow them up to a larger size. When they get big enough, you can put them in pots and grow them on your porch, or if you live in a uniquely wonderful climate like I do, the tropics, you can just plant them right outdoors. And that's it. That's all you need to know about germinating coffee. Get yourself some fresh seeds, give them some bottom heat if you're in a cool place, keep them moist and watered, three to four months, they'll start coming up. Sometimes faster if you uh, have good heat and ideal conditions, I've had them come up in just a month or two, but usually it's more like three to four months. And then when they get a little bigger, transplant them out. It takes about two, three, four years before they are big enough to start making coffee beans of their own. And then you've got your supply of coffee. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, may your thumbs Always be green. Because we rock this, lighten up YouTube with the agricultural topics. Can't stop this, pick this coffee tree you see. I now buy its lonesome in the cocoa. I got the mojo, the best feeling that I'm where I'm meant to be. Can't you see? The marbles of equatorial fruits and shoots and beans with caffeine. Liberica represent.